I'm Wes from Prodigy Performance. Today I'm going to show you the Diablo Sport Intune i1000 DCX and we're going to show you how to flash your vehicle 2012 Jeep Wrangler. The very first step I would recommend you start with is take the tool and the USB cable, go to your computer and look for updates. We're going to show you how to do that now, then we're going to come back and do step by step how to flash the vehicle. Okay, we have our Diablo Intune hooked up to our PC. Real simple, plug it in, plug it into the USB port. Everything else is done by the tool. Just by going here and work it just like a media device. You go to my computer, there's the Intune, this is the G drive. You can run this piece right here to look for the updates. Comes up here, automatically says this Intune is up to date. I do advise, however, even though it says it did it automatically, just go ahead and manually do it one more time. Hit update, check now, go through it one more time. Now it's up to date. Simple as that. We unplug the tool, go back to the vehicle. The Diablo Sport Intune is an excellent state of the art device that's full color touch screen. Now, I've got it plugged in here right now. One of the common issues I see people have is when they're plugging the tool in, they're just going real fast, get it plugged in. Don't do that. Hold the two pieces, has two little little tabs on the sides. What you want to do is you hold them, find to fit just right, put it in. If it doesn't feel right, stop, back it up, get it to fit just right before you power up the tool. You could have an issue with the connector if you don't follow this step. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to flash this vehicle. So really it's just writing a file to the computer, but we don't want to see anything change. We don't want to have the, the radio on, the blower fan running. Nothing want to change about the vehicle. We don't want to get in and out of the car, trip over the wire. If there's any interruption, it could crash the computer. Now, a great device like this does have some backup features if that should happen, but you don't, you don't want to go through those steps. You want to just stay patient, follow the prompts, do exactly what it says, don't be in a hurry, no distractions, everything will turn out great. So what we're going to do here is pick Tune Vehicle. There's a disclaimer, we'll hit yes. I'm going to hit Right Vehicle. We're going to pick Diablo Tuning. And we'll pick, uh, let's pick our mile per gallon booster tune. And it just gives you a brief description on what it is. That matches what we're looking for. And it's asking if we want to modify it. Uh, that gives you some adjust, some availability to change some of the parameters on it. We don't want to do that. These tunes are very well written right out of the box. Ask if you want to install, of course. Yes. If this is the first time you've hooked your Intune to your vehicle, it's going to save a backup file. This will take a few minutes. After that, writing a file to the car typically takes right around a minute or so. Okay, we're gonna cycle the ignition off first. Then we click confirm. Cycle the ignition on according to the prompt. Then click confirm. Okay, so it's been successfully installed in the vehicle. You can unplug the tool or press continue and it'll reboot back up. I'm Wes from Prodigy Performance and this is the, I, the Intune i1000 DCX 2012 Jeep Wrangler. Thank you for watching this video.